to my YouTube channel, The Black Wallet, where we simply are on a journey to financial freedom. Today's video, I wanted to share with you guys three things that I feel are a beginner's guide to financial freedom or three things that really helped me get started on this journey. Disclaimer, I'm not really on the goal that I want to be on, but I am on a journey to my financial freedom. So stay tuned. Getting out of the rat race of being poor, being limited to what you want to purchase, being limited to what business you can do. You have to change change your financial mindset what do i mean by a, a financial mindset there's a positive side of a financial mindset and there's a negative side of a financial mindset what those two simply tell you is what you think about finances what you think about money for example you are born in a poor family if you have a negative financial mindset you simply believe i was born in a poor family and i have to remain poor if you think positive then you have a positive financial mindset a negative thought to it, towards money then you have a negative financial mindset i ask myself how do you know if you have a negative or a positive financial mindset what that i'll give you an example i can't have money money is difficult to find i only can have money if i have a sugar daddy i only can have money if i steal if your thoughts are negative towards how you can achieve money then you have a negative financial mindset but if you have a positive thought as in i can do it i am in charge of my finances my finances are not dependent on another person i can work hard and smart to achieve my financial goals that is your positive financial mindset you're not using someone else's money to reach your goal you are simply putting your ends your your vision your creativity into reaching your goal so that is what a financial positive mindset is simply what you know about money. Financial literacy is you having knowledge about finance. What is money? How did trade start? How do you become the best salesperson? Learning each terms, learning or getting to know in depth the economy of your country. that is financial literacy and that can be attained by learning books that can be attained by going for workshops that can be attained by you constantly searching or you constantly having that zeal to learn and it's, it honestly starts with you having the positive mind starts with you having the financial literacy also starts with you so All this I'm sharing is based on my experience, so tips, but to me, these are the three things that are really important. I'm talking about the last one, which is understanding the financial management system. This is, this is simply how money works. Understanding how money works. That is planning, planning for your money. are going to spend that money and when you're going to spend that money so it gives you a guideline both short term and long term budgeting is allocating a specific amount of money to the plan that you have to the goal that planning you have. Is simply setting a goal or a target to your finances and budgeting is a breakdown of saving keeping your money keeping your money that you are earning well, there are different types of um savings that you can do ones that get you an interest ones that do not get you an interest and needs uh, and both of them are important because you can save for an emergency fund and you can save for a future project but it's getting some interest so there's long-term savings short-term saving and, and also giving giving is 
sharing what you earn. I call them the financial management system because you can't escape from one of these principles. If you want to have more, you should learn to give. And giving just helps you not be possessive over your money, not to make money as a god, but allow you to be the god of money, the god of money. You should be in charge of money. That's what giving simply does. The last thing is investing. Um, someone told me business is not for everyone and I, I was hesitant like uh, are you sure but then when I later went home and I started reflecting over I actually found yes business is not for everyone but investment is for everyone investment is a must I think I think we probably heard of a scripture in the Bible or a story where um, uh, a king came, left certain amounts to everyone, allocated the money to everyone, and his expectations was that the money multiplies. That's what I think of money. Everybody is accountable of your money. It doesn't matter how much you get paid. Even if you get 1,000, another person gets 500. You should learn to invest part of your money. Why? Because investing will help you grow your money, multiply your money, and also help you. So basically, these are the five things I wanted to share with you guys under a financial management system. So it's a system. It's one whole thing. It's like the digestive system. I can't say no. The, the, the gut is the sofa gas is useless. You can't say that it's one whole body working together. So that's investment, saving, planning, giving, and and budgeting. Yeah, and budgeting. Budgeting was the last one. Yeah. So basically, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. If you are going to get yourself on a financial journey, on a financial goal, if you want to reach a million dollars, if you want to the, just the three simple basic things you should have an understanding over you should, you should be able to have a positive mindset and lastly you should be able to be financially literate being able to understand everything yes it's true people perish because of lack of knowledge you know because all these things if you would ask people who have millions they've, they've they'll tell you that i've learned to budget they'll tell you that i've learned to 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 save i've learned to invest because then investing will keep your money growing it's money making money so yeah basically that's what i wanted to share with you guys these tips never never ever ever will i forsake because they've been helpful and they just keep helping me get on my journey and where i am going is it possible you're slacking in one yes but what do you do if you find out that you are sick in an area? You seek professional advice. So if you are lacking in any of these areas, you want to grow in your mindset, you want to grow in um, managing your finances, do yourself a favor and invest in growing that area. You can sign up for, for different online classes. You can sign, you can get yourself a book. You can watch YouTube videos in that particular area. And you can just grow yourself into who you want to to be I've also learned that for for most of these topics they are actually in the Bible for us who are Christians um, most of them you can talk about investment you can talk about savings everything is there so do yourself a favor and just keep growing to learn navigate your life with right information and with right people around you that's pretty much i had to share with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching until my next video bye